Let's go to this next one coming in here on NFL Daily from Sloppy Sammy. Wonder why he call you that. Should the Titans try to trade for Kareem Hunt? My answer would this would be no. And if you make the trade, you owe him six point two five million dollars. Okay, that's off the first. You're probably gonna have to give up a fourth round pick. That's number two. And I think having a backup for Derrick Henry is good, but I'm not going to have a backup at $6.25 million for Henry, a running back who, I get it, is coming off an injury, but they call him King Henry for a reason. I want him out there on the field as much as humanly possible. All right, y'all, no balls. If somebody told me no balls, you won't do it, when I was a kid, I'd do it. Shit, I probably still would do it. So I don't think that you're going to subscribe. This is it. This is my sub read. No balls, you will not subscribe to Chat Sports. From Seahawks All Day, when and who will sign Odell Beckham? It's a great question. I do think as for the when standpoint, Odell Beckham is going to wait to sign. It makes the most sense for him financially and timing-wise to wait until he's healthy. He's not going to be cleared until September at nah, probably more like October, November. So there's no rush outside of going back to L.A., there's no rush there. What he could have is wait to sign, and come November, there might be teams that need a receiver, and that could pay him a little bit more, give him more playing time, more targets, more reps, and maximize his long-term earnings. Six teams, as we sit right now, that have been linked slash I think make sense. The LA Rams obviously make sense. The Baltimore Ravens, because they're a bit thin at receiver, Green Bay had interest last year. Didn't sign him. Maybe should have. The Bears are thin at receiver. The Saints, if only because of the Jarvis Landry LSU connection. And the Tennessee Titans could also make some sense uh, from that standpoint in terms of being a decent option with a bit of uncertainty behind Robert Woods and Traylon Burks. So what do you think? Where will Odell Beckham sign? Is it L.A.? Is it somewhere else? Make your predictions for me right now in the comment section at the pinned comment. If the ad break comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. First up from Adam White, what do you think the Bears get for Tevin Jenkins? I think there are major red flags, so maybe at best a late day two pick. I think that is the at best, and I think that's probably a bit high, honestly, because you again, I come back to this point. You don't see these players get linked in trades in, in the reports of, oh, there's interest unless there's not that much interest, and you have to wait. So I think day three might be more like likely. The Bears are selling at a low point right now with Tevin Jenkins. So if they do trade him, I would set your expectations fairly low in terms of the return. Maybe a fourth-round pick is what you end up getting from that standpoint. Today's show is made possible by Manscaped. Smooth sack summer is here. And this, that's right, this summer is to keep your balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping on all their men's grooming products at manscaped.com. That includes the lawn, the lawn mower 4.0, the best thing available in men's grooming. Keep your balls nice and smooth. Keep the bush tied down. You'll have some more success off the field this summer. Keep your balls feeling comfort by the way, with the Boxers 2.0, manscaped.com slash chat. Links in the comments section and in the description of today's show. The RC Plane Builder, which rookie quarterback do you see having the most success with their teams? It's a good question. I'm always a big believer that you got to have talent around you in order to succeed. This, I will also say, that I'm also a big believer, and when you're taken early, you have a better opportunity because your team invests more in you. So for that reason, I'll go with Kenny Pickett because he was drafted at number 20 overall to Pittsburgh. But don't sleep on Malik Willis, man. The Titans do scare me a little bit from a receiver standpoint in the long term, but Malik Willis is the guy who I ranked the highest. But also, I think for the short term, it's probably Kenny Pickett. From Jeff Stamps. Will the Titans regret not paying A.J. Brown? Mm, maybe. Uh, is Traylon Burks going to be great or not? If Burks is great, it's all fine. But A.J. Brown was an awesome football player. I would have paid him, 
I guess Tennessee was never open to going that route. So that's a bit of a, a red flag from that standpoint. From a lucky Falcons fan, more likely to be in their respective Rookie of the Year race, Drake London or Arnold Ebicady? Uh I think it's pretty clearly London, right? I, I, I grabbed the odds, by the way, of the current race, and somehow Kenny Pickett is the leader, which I disagree with. Beyond that, London's your betting favorite. Then Burks, Wilson, Hall, and Watson. There is no obvious rookie QB since Pickett may or may not and probably won't start week one. Because of that, I like London to, to be a very real front runner for NFL Rookie of the Year. Who do you think will end up winning Offensive Rookie of the Year for the 2022 campaign? Drop that name for me in the comments section right now. Let's talk to Alex Arnold now. A super chat. Top six rookie dynasty football players in order. So you know what? I got my list. I already did my draft. I'll read off how I had them ranked in the end or wherever I put it in there. Um, I like to emphasize running backs in most cases. So Brees Hall, Drake London. Then I think I had, I had Traylon Burks, Garrett Wilson, uh, Chris Olave, and then Kenneth Walker was my number six, the Seahawks running back. Uh, that's pretty much how it went down off the board. I think I, think I mentioned yeah, I mentioned six there. Wilson slid pretty far in my dynasty draft. I was kind of surprised at that one. But I got it Hall, London, Burks, Wilson, Olave, Kenneth Walker as my top six. Jeff Stamps, 100% healthy. Who are you taking, Jonathan Taylor or Derrick Henry? I'm going with King Henry. If you were to tell me for one season and one season alone, I'll probably go Derrick Henry. If I got to build my running back room for the next three seasons, I'll go with Jonathan Taylor. I love Taylor when he first came out of Wisconsin. I think he's actually a lot better at catching the football than people give him credit. Personally, I think Taylor is a better ball catcher, giggity, than Derrick Henry is right now. Henry is more physical, and it might depend on what type of offense you're trying to run. But long term... Next three years for a running back life cycle, I'll say Jonathan Taylor this upcoming season if they both play 17 games. Yeah, I'm going to go with King Henry. So we are doing this here live on NFL Daily, and I want to know from all y'all watching right now, shout out your favorite NFL team. Are you a Raider fan? Where's the nation at? What about 49ers? I know we got a lot of Cowboys, Seahawks, Titans, Dolphins. We got Vikings fans in the chat. Ravens, let me know who is your favorite NFL team. From Rashard Lee, most underrated NFL quarterbacks. Ooh, this is a good one. Um, I'll go from, like, the national perspective. Uh, I think guys like Matt Ryan are still a little bit underrated. I think Tua is hated on. That may or may not be underrated from that standpoint there. Uh, I think Kirk Cousins is a little bit underrated. He's never going to be a true premier quarterback, but he's a good quarterback. And I'm, I think when we look back at this next year, we'll say insert young rookie Q or second year QB was very much underrated.